I have an ASE G1 test question for you. A vehicle comes into your shop with a failed fuel pump. In other words, it's producing zero pressure at the fuel rail. What could cause this, or what's the most likely cause? A, clogged a turn line. B, missing heat shield. C, EVAP purge valve stuck open. Or D, a missing fuel cap. What's the correct answer? Well, it's going to be D, the missing fuel cap. But let's first go through the wrong answers. A is incorrect because a clogged return line would actually produce high pressure and it would not be detrimental to the fuel pump and cause its life to be prematurely ended. B, a missing heat shield. That may make life for the fuel pump a little bit harder, but it's not going to be the point where it's going to fail completely. C, an EVAP purge valve being stuck open. Well, that is going to be an evaporative emissions problem and it's not going to affect performance. So it's D, the missing fuel cap. Why? Well, it's very, very simple. The reason why it is D, the missing fuel cap, well, it's because this is a protector of the fuel system and it helps to avoid debris and dirt from getting into the gas tank. Once debris and dirt gets into the gas tank, it damages the turbine fuel pump and it can make its way even to the fuel injectors. So it's critical that every single fuel system has a fuel cap. So when you're doing that preliminary inspection on a vehicle, see if it has a fuel cap. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.